This will be the most comprehensive log video you will need. So make sure you favorite this video and add it to your logs playlist. So at A-levels, these are all the log rules that you need to know, and I'm gonna prove them to you. This is a bonus. It's known as the change or basis formula in case uh, anyone's not doing A-level uh, and they're still interested, but A-level students, you don't need to know this one. Unfortunately, you did once upon a time back when uh, I was doing my A-levels, best not be calling me gramps, in it. Then we've got the special cases and stay tuned for the end where I'm gonna show you guys some things to look out for. Do not make some common errors. Okay, the first one, very easy to prove. The second one is basically the exact same proof, so I won't uh, do that one. It's basically a follow one from the first one. This is the multiplication rule. It basically is saying when you take two numbers with the same base and you multiply them together, we add the powers. So what logs do is they es essentially read the powers. You add the powers when you multiply two functions together, okay? So, how do we prove this rule? Oh my, it's very simple. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to let this be some letter. Should we use alpha? So I'm going to, so for rule one, I'm going to let alpha be log base A of X. And beta be log base A of Y. Okay, now I'm gonna rewrite this. Log base A, I wanna get rid of the log, I'm gonna carry the logs and do A to the power. What's the inverse of log base is A to the power of, yeah? Saying we're dealing with functions of base A. So A to the power of both sides. Same with this. We do a to the power of both sides. Here we're gonna have a to the power of alpha is, this cancels x. Here we'll have a to the power of b is y. Now, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna form xy by multiplying these together, okay? So we get xy, is these multiplied together? A to the power of alpha times A to the power of B. Now when you multiply two numbers with the same base, as we said before, you add the powers. Now, I'm just gonna rewrite this expression back as a log. What's the inverse of A to the power of? It's log base A. That cancels, and we get log base A of xy is alpha plus beta, but we know what alpha plus beta is because I defined them at the beginning. Alpha is log base A of x, and beta is log base A of uh, y. And that's proved, okay? Now, for this proof here, you're literally just gonna do the exact same thing but here you're just gonna divide them. This will just say minus, so the proof is literally the same. You'll have x over y. But I recommend you guys do it as an exercise. Mathematicians do this a lot. They say, we'll leave this as an exercise to the reader. Uh, if any mathematicians are actually, who've studied maths at university are watching this, they'll know that to be the case in basically every analysis book. The next one I'm gonna prove is this third one. That's the power rule. That is basically saying, when you take a number raised to a power and raise it to another power, we multiply the powers, okay? So we turn what is a power into a multiplication. Okay, so how do we do this? What do we define as what? Well, I'm going to let this equal another letter, yeah, just like I did here, yeah? What letter should I use? I'm gonna use K this time. So this is the third rule. So I'm going to let K equal log base A of X to the power of Y. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do A to the power of both sides to get rid of the base. 
So I get x power of y is a to the power of k. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do, remember, we want log base a of x, right? So I'm going to get rid of this power of y by doing power of 1 over y. Okay, so I'll have power of 1 over y. This will cancel. We'll have x is a to the power, remember we're going to multiply these together, of k over y. Now, I'm going to return to log base a of x, just like we did in the previous thing. So I'm going to do log base a of both sides, because log base a is the inverse of that. So you get k over y is log base a of x. And then finally we multiply through by y. Therefore, k is y log base a of x. I remember what k was. It was that. So log base a of x to the power of y. And that's proved. Beautiful, Mike. This proved the bonus, the change of basis formula. Okay. Now, like I said, if you are studying British curriculum, then you don't need to know this anymore. RIP this rule. But it's actually a really handy rule. So, what this is basically saying, I'll give you guys an example first, is say I wanted to do log base 2 of 3. Okay? I could basically rewrite this as a new base. I could literally just say log base A of x is log base B of x. I could say, look, I don't want to do base 2 of 3. I want to do log base 3 of 3. And the reason for that is I know that's 1. Okay? Because remind ourselves, what does a log even mean? Log tells us or asks us 3 to the power of what is 3? The answer is 1. Okay? This is saying 2 to the power of what is 3. Okay? Which is why I want to change it to this. But in order to change that, you then have to divide by the same log base 3 of the old base. Okay? So here, you divide by log base b of the old base. Okay? Let's prove it. It's an easy proof. So let's let, let's let log base a of x. I mean, the hardest part about all of these proofs is uh, having to come up with which letter you want to make things equal. I'm just going to make it equal k. What we're going to do, we're going to get rid of the logs. We're going to do a to the power of both sides. Same thing over and over again. You could probably figure it out yourself by now. So we'll have a to the power of k. Now remember, we want to change the base. So instead of doing log base a of both sides, I'm going to do log base b. I'm going to change it. Now, the unfortunate thing here is that nothing cancels. I get log base b of a to the power of k. However, we can use the rule that I just proved to bring down the k. So I get k log base b of a. And I want to rearrange for k because remember that was log base a of x. So I'm going to divide by this. So I'm going to write here k is log base b of x divided by log base b of a. I remember what k was. It was log base a of x. And that is proved. Cool. So these are the four main proofs, uh, main um, log rules proved for you guys. Okay. Now there's some special cases that you guys need to be fully aware of and be able to spot every single time. I'm going to write it down again just to discuss them. Log base a of a of a. Log base a of a. Remember what a log asks us. It asks us this to the power of what is this? a to the power of what is a? That is 1. Okay? This one, log base a of 1. a to the power of what? is 1. Well, anything to the power of 0 is 1. That's why it's 0. Yeah, a to the power of 0 is 1. Okay, a has to be positive. 
This one is a very important one for when we get into year 13. Log of 1 over x is the same as minus log x. For example, log of 1 third is minus log 3. Now this is something that in year 13, when we do differential equations and all that stuff, we would just need to write this. We're never going to leave our answer like this. Why is this the case? If I have log of 1 over x, I can rewrite this as x to the power of minus 1. Then using our favorite power rule, we can bring down that negative. Okay, log of 1 over x is minus log x. Please do not forget that one. Now, there are a couple of things that you guys need to be aware of. Do not make these mistakes. I see all the time. There's only two. And if you can think of more, drop a comment in the comment section, innit? Why? We're out here to help each other. The first mistake is if you have log of a plus b, what do students do here? They expand the brackets. It is not the case that this is true. In fact, there are certain cases where this is true, and there's actually a mass question to do with that. If you want me to do it, again, drop it in the comments. I can prove to you guys that there are conditions on A and B which does allow this to be true, but it's specific. In general, this is not true. The other thing that students make the mistake of is if they see something like this, log base A all squared, they say, ah, I can bring down the two. Not the case. Uh -uh. That squared needs to be on the A, yeah? So there is a difference between the two, okay? This is squaring this whole expression. This is squaring what you're logging only, okay? So guys, these are our main log rules. Here are the mistakes that students make, don't make them. And yeah, drop a comment down below, guys, if you want me to prove this to you. I think they'll drop a comment about something else. But yeah, <laughs> guys, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. And if you're interested in my full maths courses, then check the link in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. Nice one, dive.